Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best builds in Season 6 in 2K24. Now, these builds are great for all modes, including Rec, 3v3, 2v2, and 1v1. And I've had over a 90 win percent every season in 2K24, so you can trust me that I do have the best builds. Also, feel free to use these builds as a template and change anything that you would like. But do me a favor, leave a like and subscribe for more build videos. Let's get right into it. Now, the first build I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is a build that I've mainly been using for 3v3 and 5v5 modes. It's a point guard, obviously and I run the one with it and it's so much fun. So let me show you guys how to make it. First, go point guard. For the height, go six foot six. I think six foot six is the best height to go with as a point guard. It's all about play style and I love being a tall point guard, but if you go any taller, your build's gonna be a little bit too slow and so you don't want that. So go six foot six, the weight go 192 pounds and the wingspan go six foot eight. Now the reason we go six foot eight is to get the 92 three point shot rating for Silver Limitless. That is the main reason why we go with a six eight wingspan. Now for the speed rating, we're going with an 86 speed has a lot to do with off ball running around and it has a lot to do with your defensive lateral quickness okay so we're going with an 86 speed and it also ties in with a lot of the playmaking badges as well like speed booster hyperdrive all that good stuff you need an 86 speed to get gold speed booster now for the acceleration, this is why I say feel free to use this as a template. There's certain badges that you may want or may not want. Now, me personally, I like badges like gold blow by. Now to get gold blow by, you need an 83 acceleration. That is what you need to get gold blow by. Now listen, if you don't want to get gold blow by, I wouldn't even recommend going trying to get it on like I don't know, silver. I wouldn't even recommend doing it. I would just leave your Excel down to like a 73. That's what I would go with um, for that acceleration if you're not going for gold blow by. But for me, I want it, so I'm going with an 83. Now for your vertical, go ahead and put that all the way up to an 82. Now the reason why we're going with that is to get contact dunks, okay? You guys are gonna see, once I put my driving dunk up, it's gonna make sense. So go with an 82 vertical. Now your stamina, you can go with like a 97 or you can go with a 99, totally up to you. It's not really that much of a difference, but on this build, I went with a 97. Forgot to mention your strength naturally is going to be a 49 on this build when you bring up the other attributes so just go ahead and put it up to 49 now with your driving layup rating go up to 76 now the reason why we go with the 76 is to get silver acrobat okay it's very good very reliable so go with the 76 uh driving layup and you also get some good layup animations as well now i think the most exciting part about this build is the driving dunk and ladies and gentlemen we're going with a 94 to get basically all the contact dunks you're just missing out on one um if you want to get all the contact dunks you can go with a 96 but not gonna lie it's it costs way too much in the builder so just go with a 94 you're you're getting basically every single contact dunk in the game and look at the badges you're getting gold posterizer you're getting hall of fame slithery gold precision dunker yeah hall of fame spin cycle if you like doing those types of move hall of fame two-step i mean it's it's fire bro 94 driving dunk you're getting a lot of contact dunks now for the standing dunk i recommend putting it up to 40 because you do unlock a uh, one standing dunk animation um, and it's very, 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 very effective. So I would definitely recommend going with a 40 standing dunk. And before I continue to show you guys all these amazing builds, let me tell you guys about the sponsor in today's video, Underdog Fantasy, the best way to play fantasy sports. And if you don't know by now, the pick'em game is my favorite thing about Underdog. Pretty simple. All you gotta do is pick between two to five players that's gonna be playing in the NBA that night. And all you gotta do is pick higher or lower on those players' stats. And I bet you didn't even know that you can win up to 100 times your money in one single night. So now let's go over my picks in the NBA tonight. So for my first pick, I got Kyrie going lower than five assists. He's playing against the Hawks. I think he's going to score a lot of points, and he hasn't been getting many assists anyways. Uh, I got Steph Curry going lower than four and a half rebounds. He's not been getting rebounds. This is literally free money. I know I'm going to get this right. Then we got Jalen Green. Listen, he's wishy-washy. Sometimes he scores a lot. Sometimes he doesn't score a lot. And he's playing against Golden State, you know, an experienced team. So I got him going lower than 26 and a half points. I'm putting up $75 and I'm doing the flex play and I can win up to $225. And Underdog is available to many states in the U.S. So make sure you guys check out this map right here to make sure that you are eligible. So make sure you guys sign up on underdog.com or via the app store using promo code Cole the Man. Or you guys can even click the first link in the description and Underdog will double your first deposit up to $1 hundred dollars again make sure you guys use code cold man and shout out to underdog for sponsoring this video all right on to the shooting now the three point rating i would just go ahead and put it up all the way up to a 92 and take a look at the badges we get okay we get silver agent three we get gold blinders gold dead eye silver limitless range and but the main reason why we are going with a 92 three is for gold dead eye and silver limitless range that's the main reason why we're going with a 92 and take a look at the other badges as well we get gold green machine we get gold space creator gold spot finder this is a amazing bro 92 3 you're gonna be able to shoot from deep 
go crazy on a six foot six build shooting like curry now for the pass accuracy on this build i went with an 84. now i will say if you're playing a lot of 3v3 or 5v5 on this build i would highly recommend not going lower than a 77. I think 77 is that threshold. I would not go any lower because, listen, man, you got to dot your teammates, especially if you're a point guard. You got to make sure you get the passes quick enough so the defender does not close out on your teammate's jump shot. But personally, for my play style, I go with an 84 pass accuracy because it's super quick, um, and it just it just suits my play style. So that that's what the builder is really about this year. Really just make your build based on your play style now for the ball handle ladies and gentlemen i'm going up to a 92 and i get a lot of good badges like gold handles for days gold on pluckable ankle breaker on gold i could even sneak it up to 93 and get hall of fame ankle breaker but i don't think it's worth it in my opinion i would just recommend going with a 92. Now for my speed with ball, I went with an 83 to get a badge called Gold Blowby and Gold Speed Booster and Gold Hyperdrive. All three of these badges suit my play style because I like to dunk the ball. Badges like Hyperdrive make you go down the court faster. Badges like Gold Blowby will help you get past your defender. It opens you up for a dunk, the 94 dunk rating. I'm telling you, bro, you want to make your builds based off your play style, and this is how I play. And I'm telling you right, guys right now, this build playmaking wise is insane. It can throw dots. It can get past the defender dribbling is so much fun on this build and it's why i'm rocking with these ratings now i know all the build gurus are going to be in the comment section saying cool this build's defense is terrible i promise it's not let me break it down and show you guys why it's going to be great now for the interior i'm rocking with a 72 rating to get silver workhorse and you're going to get a lot of defensive stops in the paint whenever someone tries to call back door on you guess what you're there you can put a hand up you can get a stop now for the perimeter defense i think on any build it does not matter I think any build in 2K24, the lowest perimeter you should go with is a 58. And the reason why we're going with a 58 is to get bronze off ball pest. Now, the reason I go with that is because if I'm on defense in the corner, I'm not going to be guarding ball in this build. I'm going to have a lockdown on the floor. So I'm going to be in the corner playing defense. If they call a back door on me, guess what? I have off ball pest on bronze. I'll be able to kind of mess with the offensive player a little bit while they're trying to cut back door. And I'll be able to get some bump animations and some stops. Now I've tried to make this build with a steel rating and it's literally impossible. Steel costs so much and it's not worth it. Now for the block, we're gonna go with a 70. Okay, now you could bring it down to 68. You'll still get bronze chase down artist, but we're rocking with a 70. And on this build, I get so many block animations and you get a lot of stops in the paint defensively. And for my leftover attribute points, I just went ahead and put it into free throw and put it up to a 71 and I also get free points on bronze so that's kind of cool but this is the build right here I mainly use this on 3v3 and 5v5 let me know down below in the comment section what would you change about this build let me know down below um, let's go ahead and see what the build name is going to be and it's called a floor spacing slasher so this is the build I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the next best build in 2k24 let's get right into it now this next build is absolutely fire and to make it easy on you guys is actually already in the game if you go over to the my player builder the community templates side and just go to small forward and you will see my name at the top right it'll say cole the man and the build name is a two-way inside the arc score you can read the description but um yeah the build's in the game already so if you just want to make it you know how i make it go ahead and go to the my player builder this build's already in the game like i said so if you want to use it feel free to go to the community templates and make it but let's show you guys why this build is amazing now this build is mainly for 1v1 but like i said man use these builds as a template change anything you want and i'm gonna go ahead and break it down to show you guys why this build defensively is insane okay this build is great offensively but it is a beast defensively so let's go ahead and break it down i went small forward i went six foot seven i went 250 pounds so your build is going to be very burly and i went with a seven foot three wingspan all right now so for the speed i went with an 80 and for the acceleration i went with a 74. now the strength i went with a 95. now the reason why we're going with a 95 strength rating is to get hall of fame and movable enforcer now like i said use these builds as a template um you could even just go with a 90 strength to get gold and movable it's still very good but a hall of fame and movable enforcer you get so many defensive stops so many defensive bump animations it's so good on defense man i'm telling you defense actually does win games in 2k24 so if you're a 1v1 player or a 2v2 player this build is definitely the one to go with you're gonna get a lot of stops defensively now for the vertical i'm going with a 60 and my stamina we're gonna be maxing that out at a 99. now for my driving layup i'm going with an 84. i like a lot of those layup animations they're very good but the main reason why we're going with an 84 driving layup is to get 
gold acrobat i do a lot of reverse layups baseline for the ones and it's very op you're gonna make a lot of layups for the driving dunk i'm going with an 80. now listen you got to be starter three or higher to get quick drops off one dunk animation now if you're not a starter three i would just bring your driving dunk down honestly to like a 75 to be honest but if you're starter three or higher i would recommend going with an 80 driving dunk so you can get quick drops off one now for my post control, I went ahead and maxed it out up to an 86. Now for the post control rating, we're going with an 86. It's a very cheap attribute, okay? And you can do a lot of like drop steps with this. You can do a lot of post fades. Like I said, these builds are just based off my play style. That's basically what it's based off of. So change anything you want, but I think with an 86 post control, you are gonna be very dominant in all areas on offense. Now for my mid range, ladies and gentlemen, I think on like no matter what, if you have a shooting build, I would definitely recommend going with at least an 87 mid range or an 87 three so you can get the T Mac base. But on this build, I went with an 88 mid range to get gold green machine, okay? So gold green machine, obviously, it opens up your green window even bigger. So that's why I went with an 88 mid range and you get great jump shot bases like T Mac. Now I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I left my three point shot at a 53. Now this build is a very, very toxic build, okay? I only shoot threes when I have sharp take, okay? So I only shoot threes when I have sharp take. Um, and it's just a very like, it's a very cheesy build from the mid range and inside. So, but like I said, use these builds as a template, change anything you want. And if you're a great shooter, you're still gonna be able to hit pretty consistent um, with a 53 three point rating, especially when you have take. Now for my pass accuracy, I'm going with a 50. This is my 1v1 build, but like I said, use these builds as a template, change anything you want and raise the pass accuracy up if you want, if you play 2v2 or 3v3 on this build. The ball handle, I'm rocking with an 80 ball handle and we get badges like silver handles for days silver unpluckable hall of fame physicals but the reason why we're going with an 80 ball handle is to get silver handles for days that is why and for speed with ball we're rocking with a 75 to get that silver hyperdrive now for the interior we're going with an 83 you're gonna get so many stops in the paint i love this build you have post lockdown on silver you have hall of fame immovable enforcers so you're gonna be able to stop these post scores you're gonna be going crazy. Now for the perimeter, listen, we gotta stop these post scores and we also have to stop these little cheesy guards. So we're going with a 94 perimeter to get Hall of Fame challenger. You're gonna get a lot of crazy contest. So it's definitely recommend going with. Now for the perimeter, we're going with a 94 rating to get Hall of Fame challenger. You're gonna be able to stop these little guards you know, going back left and right, L2 canceling, you're gonna get a lot of stops and get some crazy contest. Now for the steal rating, I recommend is going with an 85 to get silver glove. I get so many plucks on this build. It, I don't recommend going with a 91 to get gold glove. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Just get it to silver and you'll get a lot of stops. Now for the block, I went ahead and put this all the way up to a 79. Now I went with a 79 to get bronze pogo stick, but I have other great, great badges like anchor and chase down artist as well. And for the defensive rebound, we put it up to 60 to get rebound chaser and box out beast on bronze. But this is the build right here. Like I said, man, I mainly use this on 1v1 and 2v2, but make any changes you want. And let's go ahead and take a look at the build name. And the build name is a two-way inside the arc score. Like I said, man, this build is in the community template. So if you guys want to make it, feel free to. Let's go ahead and get into the last build. Now for the last build in this video, I got to show my big men some love. I'm going to be showing you guys the best popper build in 2K24 as of season six, okay? Now for the position, go power forward. For the height, go six foot eight. For the weight, go 234 pounds. And the wingspan, go seven foot five. All right, so you gotta be fast on defense. We're gonna put our speed all the way up to an 81. Go ahead and max that out. Now for the acceleration, we're going with a 71 as well. We get a badge called slippery off ball. So it'll be great for like when you set the screen and you wanna roll, it's really quick. Now for the strength, we're going with a 90. Now the reason why we're going with the 90 is to get that gold and movable enforcer. You're going to be a beast on defense. Now for the vertical, I'm rocking with an 85. Now I will say the vertical was where I had leftover attributes, so I just kept putting it up. But we have an 85 vertical. It's great for rebounding. Trust me, go with that. Now for the stamina, I went ahead and put that up all the way up to a 98. For the dunking on this build, I'm gonna be rocking with an 85. You get some really good dunk animations at 85, so that's why I'm going with that. Now for the mid range, we're going with an 86 to get the badge called gold open looks. Once you set that screen 
and the defender starts playing down and you want to pop and you want to shoot the ball you have that badge and it's going to help you so much hit these open shots for the three-point rating we're going to be going with a 78 for the free throw i had some leftover attributes as well so i just went ahead and put that up to a 65 now for the pass accuracy on this build i'm going to be rocking with a 68 okay now listen i will be playing 3v3 on this build okay this build is not necessarily a 5v5 build it can be if you want but I think if you're going to be playing 5v5, the lowest pass accuracy rating you should be going with is an 86. I mean, I even recommend going with a 92. Um, but like I said, that is why I said use these builds as a template and change anything you want. Okay. But for the pass accuracy, I'm going to be rocking with a 68 for 3v3. And for the ball handle, I'm going to go ahead and put it up to a 40. Now, the reason why we're going with a 40 ball handle is to get the pro dribble style. You can get a lot of bailouts with this. If there's like a few seconds left on the shot clock, you can cheese around with the pro dribble style and shoot a fading mid-range shot. Now, for the interior on this build, I went with a 77. And for the perimeter rating, I went with an 87 to get gold challenger. Now, you're going to be a beast on defense with this steal rating. You're going to go with a 91 steal to get gold glove, gold interceptor, and gold right stick ripper this is crazy and for the block rating i'm gonna be rocking with a 92 to get gold anchor and for the offensive rebound we're gonna be rocking with an 85 listen you can bring it down a little bit if you want but we had some leftover attributes and that's where i decided to put it and for your defensive rebound of course we're putting it up to a 93 we get hall of fame box out beast gold rebound chaser and gold pogo stick this is the best popper build so far in 2k24 as of season six and i'm telling you guys right now you're going to dominate with this now like i said this is mainly a 3v3 version but if you want to make a 5v5 version you know you could bring down the block a little bit and you can put up the pass accuracy whatever you want to do any changes you want but let's go ahead and take a look at the build name and this build name is called a two-way spot up glass cleaner this build name is pretty fire now if this video helped you out and you found the build you were looking for make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe i'm gonna be dropping more videos uh, throughout this week so make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe i got an easter egg for all the people who watched the whole video if you want my jump shot come to my twitch chat twitch.tv slash and type exclamation point jump shot and i'll show you guys all right y'all i'm out peace